Apple has finally listened to our complaints and brought back the slide over mode, albeit with some heavy constraints. If you did not watch my previous video on this issue and are not familiar with the slide over feature, it allowed you to pin apps on top of other apps and hide them when not needed. It was an essential feature for my workflow as I always had messages or music apps open in slide over mode for quick access. Apple removed this feature with iPadOS 26 update which miffed a lot of users including me. Thankfully, with the iPadOS 26.1 developer beta 2 update, the feature is back and here's how to use it. To use the slide over feature, first enable windowed app mode in iPadOS. You can do this from control center or the settings app. After you enable the windowed mode in iPadOS, launch the app you want to use in slide over and long press on the traffic light controls in the top left corner of the app. Now tap the enter slide over option and the app will switch to slide over mode. If the app is open in full screen mode and you don't see the traffic light controls, swipe down from the top edge of the display to reveal the menu bar. Now go to window, slide over and tap the move to right or left slide over button to enter the app in slide over mode. If you use magic keyboard with your iPad, you can use the keyboard shortcut globe plus option plus right left arrow to open the app in slide over mode on the right or the left side of the display. When an app enters the slide over mode, it gets a glass translucent window around it to mark that it is being used in slide over. Like in iPadOS 18, you can dismiss and hide the slide over window to the right or the left side depending on the slide over window's position. To bring back the app, swipe from the edge of your iPad. Magic Keyboard users can show and hide the slide over apps using the globe plus backslash keyboard shortcut. While I'm happy that Apple has brought back the slide over mode, it has several constraints. The biggest drawback is that you can only put one app in slide over mode at a time. If you activate slide over mode on a second app, it will exit the first app from slide over mode. In iPadOS 18, I could have multiple apps in slide over and actively switch between them. Another drawback is that it takes too many taps to activate the slide over. Previously, I could drag and drop apps into slide over mode, but that's no longer possible with this version. The only benefit of the new slide over is that the app window is resizable. As I opined in my previous video, I want my split view multitasking with slide over apps back. The iPad for me is a device for focus tracing sessions and I don't need dozens of apps open at once. I don't begrudge power users for getting their wish of true window management with the iPadOS 26 update, but I would like to have my simpler split view and slide over multitasking system back. And that about does it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.